because it's a reality. Notice I say it queer Christians. I'll start right away by saying you can be saved and gay. What? This is Pastor R.A. Vernon. Pastor R.A. Vernon, what are you talking about? What Bible are you reading? You can be gay and saved. Now, can you be a murderer and saved? Can you be a liar and saved? The Bible says here, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. The Lord tells us, don't be deceived by people like him. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. That's what we're talking about, effeminate, the alphabet group letters. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. I didn't write this. The book says this. The Lord said this. They're not going in. So how can you be a drunkard and get in? How can you be a reviler and get in? How can you be an idolater and get in? How can you be an effeminate and get in? And then it goes on to say, and such were some of you. That means you used to be a murderer. You used to be a liar or what we're talking about today, an effeminate person, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. You used to be those things. So you can't be saved in one of those things. Yeah. Anybody who tells you differently, they haven't read enough or they're just overly, I mean, extremely homophobic, even theologically homophobic, which is crazy because you just can't get that from scripture that you, you know, can't have a struggle if you consider the struggle. And I want to start right there. There's a difference between being in sin and practicing sin. If you have a struggle, let's say that struggle is, is lying. Well, let's go an hour without lying. And then the next day, let's go two hours without lying and so on and so on. Like Paul says here, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. If you're struggling with something, prayer, fasting, and reading works. Let's go an hour without lying. And then the next day, let's go two hours without lying. And so on and so on. That's how you work on a struggle. But you can't continue to be in sin and expect you're going to make it in because the Bible tells us otherwise. Buddy, I respect everybody's choices. My choice is to stay true to myself and my religion. That's all I'm going to say. Any, like I said, that's all I'm going to comment on that. Um, if you have any hockey questions, I would like, I would answer those. Just, um, Can you just kind of find what We've been seeing this theme across professional sports where they have Pride Day or Pride Night for the alphabet groups. And certain players, like the one we saw in the video, aren't going for it. In my opinion, I believe he's talking about what he read in the Bible. So, Pastor Vernon, what are you talking about? We're not understanding scripture. The Bible says in the end times it will be like this. So if we're wrong, then that, that means that the Bible's wrong. But this particular play, player says he wanted to stay true to himself and his religion. And the people had a problem with it. Now look at this video clip of a lot of people's favorite idol. And tell me if he's not being effeminate. Um, should be like this. <laughs> As you can see, they're using your favorite idols to promote this agenda even more. The Bible warns us about these things, and it tells us that in the last days before Christ comes, it will be like this. So what Bible is this guy reading? 
The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. As you can see, LeBron James wore a wig to look like a woman. Eric Kalan put makeup on and lip gloss and, and whatever to make himself look effeminate like a woman. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So what Bible is this guy reading? You have to stay away from people like this. They're going to lead you into the lake of fire.